But and if we can make this another section, I would like to make an appeal to all the brother priests. So to my brother priests, both in the Novus Ordo and in tradition and in whatever capacity, we have to be about the rebuild. You know, we have to look forward and saying, what do we want the church to be in a hundred years? And do we want this to be affiliated with the modernist heresies and the schismatic acts of the Second Vatican Council? You know, we need to restore holy orders the way that it was intended by Holy Mother Church before the Second Vatican Council. Pope Leo XIII had it right. You change the words, you change the intention, you change the validity. So these are important things to keep in mind moving forward. Is we have a people have a right to have certainty that their sacraments are valid, and licit. People and you have a right as a priest to have valid sacraments and licit liturgies. And there is nothing about the Novus Ordo, even the reform of the reform. The fact that you have to reform it shows you something is wrong with it from the beginning. So far, can get to where it looks like the old mass makes it more beautiful. So why did we go away with the old mass? The old mass is sad, and we don't have to know exactly word for word what we're saying in the mass. We don't have to know word for word what we're saying in Latin, the meaning. We have to have the intention of Holy Mother Church, which Pope Leo the Thirteenth said clearly, if you speak the words, you have the intention of Holy Mother Church, because the intention is internal, and the only way to gauge the internal is to speak the external with the mind of Holy Mother Church. So, uh, and I also, and this is an appeal to my, the bishops in the tradition, we have to get together to meet to talk about these things. This is a matter of the clergy. We have to come together and talk about these things, you know, in respect to history with the whole mind of the papacy, all 2,000 years, not just the last 60, and not just wanting to cling on to something that's a sinking ship. And how can we save the sinking ship? Modernism's a heresy. It's a house built on sand. It's not meant to, it's not, it's built to sink. Uh, we need to go back and uncover the foundation stones, the rock, the bedrock of the faith, and so that we can have a unified response in tradition. And to say, you know, to, so the Catholics have with certainty moving forward, because I don't want to say that the seat of chair, the chair of Peter is vacant. I don't want to have to say that. I want dad back. You know, I want my dad back. You know, and if he is my dad, I want him to be my dad. You know, I don't want him to be a higher one. You know, uh, so we need to have all the bishops and priests that are in tradition and those Novus Ordo priests that see that, you know, I don't want to compromise my faith anymore. You know, because every time we compromise our faith, we take a little bit more of our masculinity. We take a little bit more of the graces that God had in store for us if we enter into those crosses. You know, I ask you, what's a greater cross? to continue compromising with modernists or to walk the, with the mind of Holy Mother Church in the 2000 years of her history, to walk with Christ and to say, I might even lose many people in the flock. Well, were they really goats to begin with? If they're truly seeking the will of God, they will follow you. They will follow you. Uh, and, that, and that is ultimately, you know, when you're willing to lay down your life for the sheep and you're willing to provide for them, there's pl plenty of wool and meat. Stop thinking about your three hots in a cot. Stop thinking about a life of luxury or comfort. There's no comfort. There's, the son of man had nowhere to rest his head. You know, what, what makes me think that we're better than the master? You know, the, 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 the servant is not better than the master. If they crucified our Lord, they're going to crucify us. How willing are we to save souls? And I think it's for that reason, a lot of Novus Ordo priests don't leave the Novus Ordo because they don't want to lose their flocks. But they don't think there's a viable way, but there are viable ways. There are bishops that exist to take in priests just like you that don't want to compromise and can bring your flock with you. Say, hey, I'm going to leave the modernist bishops aside in the wolves and sheep's clothing. They're telling me I don't have to go to mass on Sunday They're going to tell me I can take the, the I can take the, the poke. Uh, and then my life is in jeopardy. You know, this experimental serum, you know, and they're saying it's good for us. It's an act of charity. You know, and I hope I'm wrong. Two years from now, we're not doing massive burials. You know, I hope I'm wrong uh, that the infertility these shots cause, you know, it's just it's just hearsay. And I hope I'm wrong. But to actually tr do you really trust Francis? Can you say you trust your soul in the hands of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops? Can you say that with certainty? Can you say that you trust your bishop with your soul? Can you say that you trust your pastor with your soul? 
you know, can you say that you just, these, these are things that we have to say, we have to be very honest. The, the church is being reborn. It's being restored. You know, it's taking the old veneer off. It's, take, it's, it's taking the, the scales off the eyes and saying, okay, where is the church? And where is their faith? Where their faith is in its entirety, there is the church. Where the faith is held in its entirety. Uh, because, you know, and this is another thing too, as a, as a state of a contest, I love the papacy. I love the papacy so much. And, you know, you, you read Greg, uh, Pope Gregory the 16th and what he had to say about it. And you see it, well, it makes, it makes me that much more, my heart it, it, it enamored with the papacy, you know, and the courage these popes had to call out the wolves and to say from the rooftops, we need to cling to Christ and restore the reign of Christ the King.